Hi everyone. So you want to add page numbers in Word, but start from a specific page? Or you want to add different page numbering in same document? In this quick tutorial, we'll show you how to do it in just a few steps. Let's dive in. Here I am in Microsoft Word, and I would like to include page numbers on this document. Of course, I don't want to include a page number on the cover page because that would be silly. Now to insert page numbers, first off, Let's go to the top tabs and click on the section titled Insert. Right here, there's a section for header and footer. Let's click on this drop-down for page numbers. And here, you can choose the location of your page numbers. I'll go with the bottom of the page, and let's put it in the middle of the page. Now I have page numbers in my document, starting from 1, but here we see that I have a page number on my cover page, and I don't want a page number there. So, to remove the page number from the first page, right up on top, you should have a new tab titled Header and Footer. Right here, we have a checkbox next to a different first page. Well, we want to have a different first page, so let's check that box. And over here, I see that the page number has disappeared from the first page, but if we look over at my second page, it starts with the number 2. Now I want this to be my first page, or basically say number 1. To change this, within header and footer over on the left-hand side, let's click into page number. And within this menu, there's the option for format page numbers. Let's click on that, and that opens up a dialog. Down at the very bottom, we have a section for page numbering. And here it says, start at one. Well, of course we want it to start at one, but it views this very first page or the cover page as page one. So here, let's shift it to start at zero. This way, the cover page will be zero. I'll click on OK, and here we have it starting at one on my second page. That looks perfect. On second thought, when I scroll down, I think it would actually make more sense to start on page number seven, which is where chapter one of this thesis actually starts. I mean, who has a page number on the preliminary pages? That doesn't make any sense. Unfortunately, this technique that we just looked at only works if you want to start your page numbers on page two. If you want it to start on page three or four or five, or in this case, page seven in your document, it's a little bit more complicated, but still really not that bad. First off, let's undo the changes that we made so far. So I will enter control Z several times, and we're now back to square one. I'm just gonna insert the basic page number again by going to insert, go to the header and footer section, click on page number, bottom page, and then choose the middle section to insert the page number that as added page number from page one to the last. So how do we make sure the page number starts at page number seven? Well, to do that, we need to break this document up into sections, and we're gonna use something called a section break. Up on the top tabs, let's click on home, and right in the center in the paragraph category, let's click on the paragraph icon. This shows us all the different hidden formatting in this document. And right on page seven, I can see that there's currently a page break here. That basically marks the end of this page and the beginning of the eighth page. Right on this page, we're gonna add something called a section break. Let's click at the end right here. Now we're gonna add a section break. To do this up on the top tabs, let's click on the option titled layout. Right here, there's the option for breaks and you have all sorts of different breaks that you could insert. For example, we could re-add that page break but we wanna break this up into different sections. Right down here, I see a category for section breaks. Let's insert a next page break. When I click on that, here you'll see that it's added text that says section break next page. We have now successfully broken this document up into two separate sections. Now this section ends on page seven and chapter one of this page starts with page number one. The benefit of adding multiple sections is you can go in and you can modify or you can customize the footer independent from all of the other sections. So we already insert page numbers to the two sections. We can also change the page number of the first section into something like Roman numerals. To do this, you can just click on any page in the first section and then go to insert. Click on page number. Right here, you will see format page numbers. Click on that. Then here at number format, you can choose a different format. I will go with Roman numerals, then click on OK. Now we have format the page numbers here into Roman numerals and the page numbers of the second section still remains in numbers. 
Also, we can remove the page number on the first page, which is the cover page. But you can't use the same method we used for numbers with Roman numerals, because Roman numbers don't have a symbol for zero. What you can do here is break the cover page into another section. Then I will click on the end of the cover page. Next, go to Layout, click on Breaks, and under Section Breaks, click on Next Page. That separate the cover page from the rest of the document. Now you can remove page number in this category. When I remove page numbering from this section, if I scroll down, you will see that it also removes page numbers from the chapter section as well. I will undo that. So when this happens, click on the footer section, then a new tab, header and footer will appear. Under this navigation section, click on link to previous to remove the link. That will unlink the pages. So now I can remove page numbering from this section and it won't affect the other sections. All right, you should now be all set with your page numbers. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video.